Hi, I'm Dr. Mark Pitstick at SoulProof.com talking about euthanasia. So this is a good death, recognizing that there is a time to die, and, that, and looking at the wisdom of assisted death. Uh, a number of states in the U.S. and a number of countries around the world have legal measures now in place. As more and more people recognize, there are worse things than dying, certainly. And so hopefully the soul proof evidence assists that. There are a number of individuals that I'm aware of who have learned to pass on consciously. One, a psychologist in California, held a big party and announced that he was going to be passing on soon, wanted to see everybody one last time, and that night he did. He died in his sleep. He was starting to go downhill, he had physical problems, and he decided it was his time to die. I'd shared before about a Peruvian shaman telling that in the high country people can decide when it is their time to move on. And sometimes they'll just lay down after their party and breathe slowly and deeply and then they exhale and they don't breathe in again. That's it, they pass on. And he said other times they will wave goodbye and start walking away and the villagers will watch them and at some point they'll just disappear. I asked him about practices like this in the West. Is the West ready for this? And he said, no, they're not. He said, first of all, it'd be a legal quagmire. Of course, we have to make everything so difficult here. But I think that I see the boomers uh, wanting to do everything uh, their way or wanting to go through things in the best way. And I have a feeling that by the time more and more of us uh, boomers reach time to pass on, that these ways will be no more so we can consciously die know when to move on. Now, in the past, again, when we used to think that God was separate from us, and like, thy will be done, and if it be thy will, can I die now, that sort of thing. With the soul proof evidence and realizing that we're one with the one, we're each part of God, an integral part of God, then we can see that our heart's desires are God's desires for us. So, um, I've talked with a number of elders about this and they really get this, that it's not when God wants you to die because you're a part of God. When do you want to die? When do you feel like you've lived your life, you're going downhill, and you want to move on? So think about these things. Hopefully this will help you uh, with yourself and your loved ones have a timely transition, a soulful transition, instead of going through so much that now passes for the best way to die. So be sure to visit our website soulproof.com. All these topics discussed in the book Soulproof and on our documentary film by the same name.